Battlemaster versus Cyclops. Two mechs going head to head. That's what we're going to explore in this Tactica matchup, starting with the weapons profiles. We start with the Cyclops coming in at 90 tons, an LRM 10, two medium lasers, a short range missile, four pack, and an auto cannon 20, one of my favorite weapons in the game, assuming you can make it work. On the opposite side, the Battlemaster coming in at 85 tons. Is there a more classic assault mech? Solid, solid assault mech. We've got a PPC, six medium lasers, stock, four in the front, two in the back, two machine guns, and a short-range missile six-pack. So we begin this matchup with on the way in. So two mechs is part of a lance, moving forward, engaging, and it's going to be up to the two heavies to take care of each other. Or perhaps framing the narrative, city fight, city tech, making their way down an alley, a battle master comes into view of a cyclops, and they square off. At range, the battle master is going to be more consistent with that PPC. It's going to be firing that every single turn. It's going to be possibly, of course, you have to hit. There's modifiers. We're we're playing that up-down modifier game, but it's be going to be a consistent 10 damage. The Cyclops, on the other hand, uh, the LRM 10-pack, it's got the spread. And right away, just looking at this range game as both of these mechs move in to each other, I feel like a 10-pack is a little bit underperforming for this machine. Given the tonnage, I know it's tied up in other things, especially that Auto Cannon 20. I'm looking more like a 20 pack. If it had a 20 pack, I feel like at the range game on the way in, it could do a little bit more damage or, or have the potential to do a little bit more damage, especially if it was kind of standing still and letting the Battlemaster approach the Cyclops. Looks like it's going to go to the Battlemaster. Now, both of these mechs, given the tonnage, and the weapons array focusing primarily on medium to short ranges, they're not going to play the range game. I mean, we could just crunch the numbers. A Cyclops staying at range, a Battlemaster staying at range, PPC versus LRM-10. Play that out on the tabletop. You're going to be there for like an hour and a half and not really do anything. So both of these mechs, it's a little bit of a softening up. Both of these mechs want to close to that mid-range. But we're going to give the long-range game to the Battlemaster. Now as we close, this is where the Battlemaster really becomes very fearsome. This is where it comes into its own. At that medium to short range, the Cyclops can it even hold its own versus the Battlemaster. The Battlemaster with four medium lasers and a six-pack Versus two medium lasers and a four-pack on the Cyclops. Cyclops needs to get that auto cannon 20. Needs to get it into range as quickly as possible. But at a medium game on the way in, the intensity is increasing with the Battlemaster. Now, I should say in this matchup, yes, terrain, maneuvering, that's going to play a role. Uh, lucky hits, anything could happen. It's Battletech. You roll those dice. We're going to... Put those lucky crits, those lucky hits, those kind of weird and wacky things over to the side for this head-to-head -head because that's not always a true representation, right? If these two machines were going to go head-to-head, -head, eight out of ten times, which machine would win barring that lucky hit? Although, tabletop, if we're there and your Battlemaster is coming towards my Cyclops, I'm going to take anything and everything that I could get. But four medium lasers versus the two, a six-pack versus a four Cyclops is starting to feel the burn. Um, even with that, that five-ton bump, it's starting to feel the burn. We want to close. Now, the plan of the Cyclops is to get that auto cannon 20 in. Yes, as soon as I'm in range, I'm going to be shooting it. It doesn't even matter what the modifiers are. But I'm going to want to get to point-blank range. I want to get to one hex away and be blasting away. The Battlemaster... It can work. It becomes just as deadly, more deadly at closer range because now that brace of medium lasers, that SRM six-pack, even the machine guns, without modifiers, uh, range modifiers at short range, that's a lot of zappy. That's a lot of dice coming at you versus the Cyclops tied up primarily that punch in one autocannon 20. If it connects, 
It's going to be very interesting. But can the Cyclops Mech Warrior, or being a command mech, Mech Commander, consistently land those shots? The other challenge, of course, now, if we're that, at that point-blank range, we might as well get into physical attacks. The Cyclops is going to look and say, well, let's blast with that Auto Cannon 20. Let's fire off the 10-pack. We Crazy modifiers, but maybe I'll get lucky, and let's try and punch, punch, or let's try to kick. The challenge here, of course, is that also works or goes towards the Battlemaster. Battlemaster could say, no PPC, punch, punch. We're going to kick. We're going to still zap you with all those medium lasers. The Battlemaster has a consistent focus, from what I see, a consistent damage-dealing focus as it transitions from medium to short to one hex point-blank range. Uh, The entire time, the entire time that Cyclops is undergunned, it only catches up or possibly exceeds at point-blank range with Autocannon 20 if it can consistently land it. Now, Tactica, I see the Cyclops wanting to close, wanting to brawl, wanting to AC-20. I see the Battlemaster wanting to get to that sweet spot where it can kind of dance and just blast with all those medium lasers and soften the Cyclops up just enough, maybe expose some crits, maybe start working your way towards the engine core, and then close, I don't want to say eat a auto cannon 20, but maybe eat one and now punch, punch, medium lasers and all that. Tactically, again, barring something crazy, wacky, total battle tech, I'm going to give this to the battle master. I'm going to give it to the battle master. The design of this machine is literally the battle master where while the Cyclops can hold its own and has some bite against heavies and lower end assaults against true dedicated assault mechs, the tactic is going to be a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult. Turning it over to my fellow mech commanders, mech warriors, mech techs, stock only. How do you see the Cyclops going up against the Battlemaster? Which mech would come out on top?